السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركة بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما رب يسر ولا تعسر رب وتمم بالخير اللهم اجعل القرآن ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا اللهم آمين Alhamdulillah, we are going to start our today's session. We were on level number two. We finished level zero and level one. So first, as usual, we will first revise level one and then we'll go to the level two, inshallah, for revision. So I'll take help from the participant to start. So I will start with Hiba. Assalamualaikum. Uh, Hiba, you have to give the summary of level one first. Okay. Level Screen one. will be black, so just you oh, have okay. to. Level one, chapter uh, one. Bab Fataha Fataha Yaftahu. Fataha 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 means he opened. Level one, chapter two. Bab Daraba Daraba Yadribu. Fataha Kasra Daraba means he hit. Level one, chapter three, Bab Nasara Nasara Yansuru. Nasara means he helped. Uh, Fatha Dhamma. Um, level one, chapter five, Bab Hasiba Hasiba Yahsibu. Uh, Dhamma Dham, like Kasra Kasra. After uh, Fatha Dhamma, there should be Samia of Samia Yasma'u. Oh, okay. Uh, chapter number four. Oh, uh, uh, Bab, uh, level one, chapter four, Bab Samira, Samira, yes, Maro, Samira, me, he listened. Okay, keep going. Uh, level one, chapter five, Bab Hasiba, Hasiba, Yahsibu. Hasiba means he calculated. And, uh, level one. Level one, chapter six. Bab karma karma yakrumu dhamma dhamma karma means he honored himself. Can you please just uh, give the chapter names in order? Uh, bab fataha, bab daraba, bab nasara, uh, bab samir, bab hasiba, bab karma. Bab karma. Okay, thank you. Uh, Brother Talha. Can you please do the complete table of Nasara? Bab Nasara? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Bab Nasara, level one, chapter chapter three. Bab Nasara, Nasara Yansuru. Nasara means he helped. Nasara, Nasaru, Nasarta, Nasartum, Nasartu, Nasarna. Yansuru, Yansuruna, Tansuru, Tansuruna, Ansuru, Nansuru. Uh, unsur la tansur unsuru la tansuru nasirun nasiruna nasirina mansurun mansuruna mansurina nasur nas and nasara means nasara means he helps yansuru yeah yansuru means uh, <coughs> nasuru means um, he help uh, he he help or he will help unsur unsur means uh, you help. Help. Order. Nasirun. Nasirun. Uh, the one who help. Mansurun. Mansurun. Uh, the, the, the one, one who, those, the one the, who, ha who is being helped. The the one who is being helped. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, so the, this should be on on the fingertips. Everybody should do that. Without looking that, we, we can do the complete table. And uh, all this should be there. And okay, next is uh, level two, Nasar. Assalamualaikum, sir. Waalaikum assalam. Nasar, can you please summarize level one, level two, chapter one? Uh, level two, uh, chapter one. Uh, uh, Bab Ajwaf. Ajwaf means central. Uh, it has uh, three cases. Khafa uh, Yakhafu. Uh, case two is. Uh, Sara Yahafu, how you will define this pattern? Uh uh Fatha Fatha no. Alif 
अलीफ अलीफ केस वन व्हाई वी से इट एज अजवफ uh ajwaf means central because alif is in the uh, center, center of, of all the words so first case will be khafa ya khafu so what will be the pattern uh alif 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 remains alif ya yeah. uh case two sara yasiru uh, alif changes to ya and case three is qala yakulu alif changes to waw alif changes to khafa means khafa means he feared fear qala uh, 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 sorry sara uh he wasted and qala he said he said khafa ya khafu sara yasiru and qala yaqulu we already did khafa ya khafu and sara yasiru today we will do qala yaqulu again level 2 chapter number 1 bab ajwaf ajwaf means central why we say central because in all the verbs used in bab ajwaf they have the central letters alif there are three cases khafa ya khafu alif remains alif sara yasiru alif changes to ya and qala yaqulu alif changes to waw uh, uh i would ask uh, sister afia and uh, she is listener okay. azan Yes. Uh, can you please fit here Zada in this chapter? Okay. Uh, Zada means increased. Zada, Zadu, Zitta, Zittum, Zittu, Zidna. Yazidu, Yes. Yes. Yaziduna. Tazidu, Taziduna. Azidu, Nazidu. Zid. La Tazid. زيدو لا تزيدو زادي ان uh, think again زائد زائدون زائدين مزيد مزيدون مزيدين and the master will be زد Zaidun. Zaidun. It is same. Sara Yasiru Sairun. Zada Yazidu Zaidun. Zaidun. Zada means he increased. He increased. Zid. Um, increase. Increase. Can you please take this uh, ayah here? This one. Rabbi Zidni Alma. Okay. Um, Rabbi. Oh my lord yes zid uh, increase very good me me very good ilma knowledge okay now combine the translation oh my lord increase me in knowledge okay if i ask you about the zid that what will be the starting word for zid what you will say zada zada and what will be the chapter um bab ajwaf Level two, Baba Jo, Zada, Sara, Yasiru. What is Sara? Sara Yasiru. And this will be Zada Yazidu. And what is Zid, by the way? Zid is what? Madi, Mudare, Amar, Nahi, Fail, Mafool. Uh, Fail, Amar. Amar, Zid. Zid means increase. Thank you. Thank you. One more part is spent. Uh, I will. Take from here, ah, uh, brother Muhammad Kabir. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, can you please take this ayah? Uh, in in. in Must read it completely, please. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Inni alamu ghayb al samawati wal ard. Ard. Okay. First of all, first us let us discuss about ghayb. it is like ghaib is like ghaib is like uh, sairun this is masdar sairun so ghaib is masdar see here zada yazidu zaid sara yasiru sair so if it is ghaib what will be the starting word ghaba 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 means ghaba means he was hidden he was hidden or unseen so he was hidden ghaib is 
meaning hidden or unseen. So this is masdar. Ghaba yagibu. So if it is ghaba, what will be mudare? Mudare would be yagibu. And what will be amar? Amar would be uh, ghib. Ghib. And nahi? Uh, la taghib. And ismul fa'il? Uh, ghaibun. 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 The one who is hidden. Ghaib. He is ghaib. Absent. He is hidden. Ghaib. Ghaib. Uh, okay. Can you please go ahead with this? Um, I'll go word by word first. Yes, I'll... please. Inni, indeed I, alamu, uh, I know. I know. Okay, again, the question, uh, I will ask this question from someone else. Uh, Saad. Salamu alaikum. Saad, can you please tell me about this alamu? What is the, what is the chapter? Uh, alamu. So, Alamu is Alama you Alimu Ta'lim. No, no, dear, no, dear. It has no. to be done from the, the chapter we have already covered. It's level one, sorry. So, uh, okay. It, Alima it, it, ya Alamu. Alima ya Alamu. Samia and what is the chapter? Samia Yasmau. And Alima means? He knows. He knows. What about Alamu? He knew. Uh, Alima, he knew. Alima means he knew because, yes, Madi. Okay, what about Alamu? Alamu, uh, I know or I will know. I know or I will know. Okay, thank you. Go ahead, Brother Kabir. Yeah, so uh, I know or I will know. Ghaiba, uh, hidden or unseen. Samawati, Samawati is the plural of sky, skies, uh, and well earth and, and earth. So uh, indeed, I know uh, the unseen of the skies. And the world. And, and the earth. Indeed, I know the unseen of skies and the earth. One mm. thing here, this in me, what is the most commonly used word which we have used here? Inna. Inna, very important for all a participant. Inna will be used a lot. Inna means indeed. Can you please attach it and make six? Yeah, sure. Uh, inna who? Inna who? Inna whom? Innaka, innakum, inni, inna. Inna or inna na. Okay, inna who means with translation? Inna means indeed he. Inna who means indeed they. Innaka means indeed you. Innakum means indeed you all. Inni means indeed I. Inna or inna na means indeed we. Indeed. So this is very important for all. This is the vocabulary. Inna means indeed. Okay. So here you said, uh, Brother Kabir, Ghaiba Samawati. What is the translation? Uh, unseen of the world. Unseen of the uh, heavens. Unseen of the skies. It's skies then, sorry, if yes. you relate this to the second session, what we are doing, so what it will be but grammatically? This is Mudaf Mudaf Ilai. Mudaf Mudaf Ilai. So Mudaf, how many conditions for Mudaf? Uh, there are two conditions that it needs to be light, meaning there shouldn't be any noon sound. And the second is it doesn't have any al. Al, yes. And it is, by the way, it is noun, right? Combination of nouns, yeah. Okay, and what about mudafilai? Uh, mudafilai has just one condition. It needs to be jar. So, or majroor. Okay. Or majroor. Yeah. And similarly, it affects on? Uh, the, the second Ardi one. Also. Because of wa. Okay, thank you. So, Ardi. this was all about the revision. So we spend more time on the revision. So everybody should have these things on fingertips. Uh, so let's go to the next chapter. And next chapter is case uh, the same chapter, case number three. Very important representative word here we have. So again, level two, chapter one, Bab Ajwaf. Ajwaf means central. There are three cases. The first case is, Hafa ya khafu, alif remains alif. Hafa he feared. Second case, Sara ya siru, alif changes to ya. Sara means he traveled. Third case, Kala ya kulu. What is the case? Alif changes to vow. Kala means he said. This Kala, if you look at this Kala, it is coming in Quran a lot. This Kala in any form, Kala ya kulu, kul. You will see it a lot. So, first of all, vocabulary is very important. Second thing is, in chapter Babajwaf, this is the representative word. 
Kala Yakulu. Kala means he said. Uh, let me ask somebody to do this complete. Uh, uh, Uncle Mia Hamid, I would ask. Yes, Assalamu alaikum. Go ahead, please. Kala. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, level two, Bob Ajwaf. Uh, pattern three, type one. Kala, he said. Yakulu. Kala Yakulu. Alif <coughs> changes to? Alif changes to wow. Okay, complete table, please. Kala, Kalu, Kulta, Kultum, Kultu, Kulna, Yakulu, Yakuluna, Takulu, Takuluna, Akulu, Nakulu. Kul, Lata Kul. Kulu, Lata Kulu. Kailun, Kailuna, Kailina. Makulun, Makuluna, Makulina. Kaul. Kaul. Okay, Kala means? He said. Everybody, Kala. Kala means he said. Very important. Yakulu. Uh, he, he says or he will say. Akulu. Uh, I say, I said, or I say. I say or I will say. I say Kulna. I will say. Uh, uh, we, uh, we said. Kul. Uh, say. Say this kul. Kul is very important. If you say, look at the last three uh, chapter, Suratul Nas, Suratul Falak, Suratul Ikhlas, and Suratul Kafirun. They kul a'uzu bi Rabbin Nas. Kul say kul a'uzu bi Rabbil Falak. Kul means say kul hu Allahu Ahad. Kul say again. This kul is and kul ya yul kafirun say kul means say. This is Amr from Qala Yakulu. Alif changes to Vow. Wow. Wow. Okay, keep going. Kulu. Uh, uh, yakulu, Yakulu. Uh, oh, sorry. Kulu. Uh, kulu, not a Kulu. Kailun. Kulu means? Kulu means uh, you all say. La Kulu. You all do not say. Kailun. Kailun, uh, the one who uh, says. Yes. Kailun. Uh, those who says. Kailina. Those who says. Makulun. Uh, Makulun is uh, mafool, the, the, what has been said. said. And Kaulun? Kaulun, uh, uh, to say. To say, yeah. Okay, I would go to Umar Ahmed. Thank you. Ayyako. Umar Ahmed. If not, uh, no response. So, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Brother Ahmed. Yeah, uh, Umar. No, Umar. Uh, Umar, can you? These are very important vocabulary. If you look at that, all they are used. I will ask you to take Aza first. Aza means? Aza means he sought protection or he sought refuge. Refuge. Very important. Put a pause here. Everybody, just think over that. Don't skip it. Aza means he sought protection. Aza, other meaning is he sought refuge. Aza. I, I, Aza Ya'uzu. Alif changes to Vow. Go ahead and fit it here, please. Aza, Azu, Uzta, Uztum, Uztu, Uzna. Ya'uzu, Ya'uzuna. Ta'uzu, Ta'uzuna. A'uzu, Na'uzu. Uz. La ta uz. Uzu, La ta uzu. Azun. Aizun. Aizun. Aizuna. Aizina. Mauzun. Mauzuna. Mauzina. Auzun. Aza means? He sought protection or he sought refuge. Let's take one. I He sought refuge. Okay. Azu. They sought protection. Uzdu. Uh, I sought. I sought refuge. Okay. Yauzu. He seeks refuge, or he will seek refuge. Auzu. I seek refuge, or I will seek refuge. Very important. Auzu. It is from Aza Yauzu. Auzu billahi min al-shaytanir rajim. Auzu. 
I seek refuge or I will seek refuge. Can you please take this ayah? A'uzu billahi minash shaitan rajim Okay. A'uzu, I seek refuge or I will okay. seek refuge. Okay, what is this? What is the first word, starting word for A'uzu? Aza. Aza. What is the chapter? Aza Yauzu. Aza Yauzu. Qala Yaqulu. Baba Jwaf. A'udhu, I seek refuge. Okay, keep going. Billahi with Allah min from shaitani shaitan al-rajim al-rajim the rejected one. Let's take it as rejected one. Rejected one. Okay, again, I will say the word you have to translate. Everybody, please focus. A'udhu. I seek refuge. Billahi. With Allah. Min. From. Ash-shaytani. Shaytan. Ar-rajimi. The rejected one. The rejected one. Now combine translation, please. I seek refuge with Allah from Shaytan. The curse, the rejected one. The rejected one. There are many meanings. Okay. So here, if I relate again, whatever we are doing in session one and session two, they are not separate. One, one day they all will be all together so that we can learn Quran. So uh, I will take uh, someone from here who can explain me uh, about this. Sister Rehana. Uh, Sister Rana, just question is that in the second session, we are doing something related to that. If you, uh, okay, about fragments. Do you see any fragments here? Yeah, ba, ba, ba is. So what is complete fragment is? Billahi. So what is the name of this fragment? Jar Majur. MashaAllah. Next one? Min. So complete fragment is? Min shaitan Minash Shaitan. So what is the fragment name again? Min is Jar and Shaitan is Majroor. So it is Jar Majroor. Jar Anything else you see? Ar Ar Just uh, think about a Shaitani Ar Rajimi. Al Al. al, al, al if you look at that, Al Al. Yeah. A Shaitani Ar Rajimi. What is the fragment name here? Uh, how many fragments we have covered? If you name it, then we will go for that. First is, First is Mudaf 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 Ilay. Muda Ilay and, so it cannot and, be Mudaf Mudaf Ilay because there is Al. Al, yes. And, and then second is Sifa Mosuf. Sifa Mosuf. So what is happening there? It is Sifa Mosuf. It is Sifa Mosuf. All the four properties matches of um, Sifa with Mosuf. This is Sifa. A shaitan or rajim rejected one. Most of the shaitan. And, and what is sifa? Rajim. Rajim. We also re translate it as continuously rejected one. Yeah. So this is what we have. We are covering in both sessions. So this is the best example where we can, can combine both. Mm -hmm. So we have to go to the breakout room so that we can practice on Bab Ajwaf. Yes,